normally when we talk about green you know the arabian peninsula becoming green normally when we talk about this topic we tend to think it is about saudi arabia well that is not the case because the hadith of rasulullah SAW, he said very clearly it is the land of the arabs so this video i want to show you first the situation of saudi arabia and then i will share with you the real purpose of this video the real reason the actual reason why i'm making this video but let's uh, take a look at this video because uh, i have actually commented on this video before where this uh, person uh, a vlogger actually she was surprised she was surprised to see what saudi arabia has become let's take a listen welcome to saudi arabia this is not the saudi arabia we hear about very much a Saudi Arabia that's mountainous and green, where nature reigns supreme. Okay. okay I was so. in the middle of my trip across the country in the far south when a local friend showed me a pin on the okay. map and told me, you have to go there. Nobody knows about this place. He did warn. So I, I shared this video, dear brothers and sisters, and I told you guys how this uh, uh, vlogger, her name is, I think, Eva Zoo or something, uh, was surprised to, to see the transformation of Saudi Arabia, its landscape. Now, a lot of the lands, it, they look completely different, completely green, in other words. So a few things that I want to mention to you before I show you the actual video, the, the real video, the actual video that I really wanted to show you today. So before I do that, I want to share with you something very, very important because these are important for all of us to understand in light of in, end of time. Number one, the situation right now in Saudi Arabia the you know because of the climate change um, the lands are turning into more and more greenery right and the obvious reason for that as we all know is because of the climate change the global warming that are taking place in fact the climate change impacts as represented by temperature increase would elevate the levels of reference evapotranspiration by about 1 to 5, 1 to 4.5% at 1 or, or sorry at to 10 C Celsius increase and by about 6 to 19.5% at 5 percent increase in most regions so global warming and this is talking about Saudi Arabia so Saudi Arabia in other words they're having that impact okay the global warming the climate change is having an impact in Saudi Arabia and this is why you see the greenery you know the all the everything is becoming more and more green number two dear brothers and sisters we know that these greeneries they're happening you know things are turning into more green is because of the human intervention so what happened is Saudi Arabia they have planned to plant 100 million trees to tackle the uh, desertification uh, and this report was from July 2021 okay that happened only recently number three reason why we are seeing this greenery is because of the obvious reason which is the hadith the prophecy of Rasulullah but before I mention you the hadith I want to take you to another video okay that I promised I will show you because this video is really why I wanted to make this video uh, so take a look at this video because Allah, I mean when I saw this video uh, it did shock me because one thing is that yeah we know something is happening in one place but then the next day you found out something you know more about it something even more miraculous something more even more surprising and shocking and whatnot so when you see these things are happening in other words um, you know and is being so uh, w you know widespread then it really catches your attention so this is what I want you to uh, take a look at that way I will be able to explain the hadith more inshallah in, in better and so I want to play the video so take a look at this one okay this is again a new video uh, ignore the music uh, subhanallah I don't use music but they're using music Believe it or not, this is an Islamic channel, but they are using music. But let's take a look, okay? And and I'll tell you which country is this one, okay? I'll tell you which country is this one after you see the video. Or maybe you already know, actually. This is in uh, Al Mahra uh, Governorate in uh, Yemen. Look! Look at this greenery. Look at this. During June and September, they're saying 
that they get supply its local community with water it is becoming more and more green luscious green landscape uh, in Arabian Peninsula okay, even this video they were emphasizing on one word uh, which is Arabian Peninsula so they all they also know the importance of it they also know probably they know the hadith of Rasulullah also look at this it's all turning green it's all turning green okay so now let me tell you the hadith and then inshallah we can explain a little bit more because uh, the hadith is so so important for all of us to understand uh, this phenomena of uh, Saudi Arabia and Yemen as you have just seen turning into green now there are two part of the hadith and I mentioned this part Before I'm going to be mentioning to you again because this is a miracle. Okay. This is a miracle of the hadith number one Rasulullah he said La hatta. the hour will not establish until The Prophet said the hour will not establish until the land of the Arabs will become luscious green and flowing river now Two part of the hadith that I want to share with you very very important number one is that this turning green of this uh, you know uh, plants and and the landscape is a sign in itself of the end of time of this hour this is something very very significant for the believers because we dear and sisters are supposed to be the forerunner when it comes to understanding the end of time because we have all the sources and we also want to be prepared for it the other part of the hadith, so again, this will not happen or uh, this will not happen until we see the end of time. So this is why we are seeing because end of time is here. So we are seeing this happening now. Number two part of, of the hadith that I want to share with you is the miracle of the hadith. At the beginning of the creation, there was ice age. Okay, it was all ice. It was very cold. Then the ice melted and we have seen uh, what do we see today lands okay the Middle Eastern countries they in other words they were covered with snow in the past the beginning of human history then the Middle Eastern countries they become land and became uh, inhabitable for people so people came in and and they you know removed all the you know uh, uh, you know uh, the the dirt whatever and build their own inhabitants there so the Prophet is saying in the hadith, very important, this is exactly how the Arab lands were before. He understood, the Prophet understood and he knew from the knowledge that was given to him by Allah Azza that there was a time when the whole world was covered with ice. This is the miracle. How could he know? The reason is because he is using the word Tawda. In Arabic, if you know Arabic, Tawda al-Ard means it will return back the hadith is saying Arab. it will return back the earth will return back to where it was the arabian peninsula he's talking about muruja wanhara so the prophet Rasulullah, he knew from the knowledge of allah Azzawajal, that this arab land we're living today was once a land of ice so when we talk about end of time dear brothers and sisters we find out that this phenomena of Saudi Arabia becoming green, Yemen becoming green, UAE becoming green, it has three primary reasons. Regardless of what it is, the, the matter of the fact is that this is a sign right in front of us of the end of time. Three primary reasons, as I said in the beginning, number one, climate change because of the climate change. So we are seeing everything is upside down. Number two, human intervention. So the Arabia is planting trees, 100 million. And number three, the prophecy is there. This is something you guys have asked me to share with you about my opinion, my thoughts. I said this before in my other videos that this is a sign of the end of time. If you have not watched that video, you can go ahead and watch it, inshallah. And I hope, inshallah, this will benefit all of us, will keep us close and be prepared for the coming of the Dajjal, the coming of the Mahadi. By the way, we talk about this topic, Mahadi, Dajjal, Yajuj, and Mahajuj. We talk about Sea of Galilee. We talk about the Euphrates River. If you are someone who is interested in this topic and want to know more about, 
consider subscribing. Inshallah, I will see you soon again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.